in many situations I have to put out lots and lots of bowls in one day and I've done this over the years and in, in um, at times over 700 bowls in a single day and I get very tired of bending over all day so recently we put together a backpack um, sprayer operation so that we can um, load the backpack, use the wand to uh, run a lot of bowls at once, and, um, and I don't have to bend over at all. So we're going to show you now over the next few clips um, how to set up the backpack, how to use it, and then how to pick them up efficiently so you can run many, many bowls in a day without um, having to bend over too much. Okay, you can buy lots of different kinds of backpack sprayers. They're in garden stores, forestry suppliers, um, you can order them online. There's many different kinds. They all basically have some kind of pump that pumps up the chamber, puts pressure in it. It's got a chamber that you can fill with liquid, in our case soapy water of some kind, and then has straps to hold it to your back. Most of those straps are too thin, and at least for me, they hurt when I'm trying to uh, carry a heavy load of four to five gallons of water. So what we've done is we've taken that backpack uh, sprayer and we've attached it to the frame, in this case an old backpacking frame, my old backpacking frame, with zip ties and um, the kind that you can buy in the hardware store, they're very heavy duty, uh, hasn't had any problems and that allows uh, the use of the frame and it's easier to carry and um, take out into the field. Okay, to fill, uh, you just add water to the chamber and then once the chamber is full I use um, a laundry detergent rather than uh, dishwashing detergent and the reason is that laundry detergents are not sudsy and the problem with a backpack um, sprayer is that if you carry it with laundry I mean, sorry with dishwashing detergent in it um, by the nearing the end it's almost all foam and then you're pumping out foam instead of water with laundry detergent that's not a problem you have to put in probably about two tablespoons, which I don't know what the metric equivalent is of that per one of these loads or something around those lines, or a big bunch of laundry detergent to get, effectively get rid of the surface tension. If you use too little, which we've done, just if you just sprinkle it in, it turns out that the uh, bees land on the surface tension and fly off. So you can affect captures by not putting enough detergent in. Okay, to use the sprayer, you pump it, it's got pressure in the tank, water's going to come out of the nozzle, and you just throw a bowl down so you don't have to bend over, and then you fill it with the wand, and then you're ready to go, ready on to move on to the next one. That's it. That's it. So if you have two people available to help put out bowls, one person can be using the backpack sprayer, the other person can use the litter picker upper. So you have a litter picker upper, you grab a bowl with it, and then you can put it down on the ground. And they also don't have to bend over. The next day, when you're ready to pick up all the bowls you put out with your backpack sprayer, you also don't want to spend a lot of time bending over. So we have a system for doing that. What we have is barbecue tongs. It could be pretty much anything that's a tong-like grabber. And what we do is we pick up a bowl with the tongs, and then we dump it into a net. This is just an aquarium net that's been clamped to the edge of a five gallon bucket. And then we throw the bowl into the bucket. That's it, saves time. Even this little bit of reach saves the back quite a bit of stretch.